Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. So um, I've been asked by a few of you of uh, what's the timeline for the rest of the year. We are now October 3rd today. And so what exactly will there be for the rest of the year? In terms of updates, anything left for Windows 10, Windows 11? We've said it. Windows 10 now is in, in pretty much the quiet extended mode. So it will only get... Um, patch Tuesday f updates for security, and it will get, of course, the uh, updates for the bug fixes, as Windows 10 will now stay at version 22H2, and that's going to continue for the future for the next two years, as October marks two years of support left for Windows 10. So nothing unusual, nothing special. Uh, I still see some people post that 23H2 is coming for Windows 10. There's no such thing. 22H2 is the last version number officially. So that is what's going to continue updating with security and bug fixes for the next two years. It isn't impossible that some new features of apps come here and there. But for the operating system itself, not really much is going to happen there. On Windows 11, of course, Windows 11 21 H2 is end of support this month. That means that next week when you get the patch Tuesday updates, uh, it's game over for 21 H2 on Windows 11. Um, that is now the original version of Windows 11 that's departing. We're now at 22 H2. And there will be 23 H2, which is a very small enablement package that probably will come this month, I would guess, since it's already in the release preview. I wouldn't be surprised that it might actually be pushed at the same time as Patch Tuesday next week. We'll see what happens there if it moves on your version number. Um, of course, Moment 4 is still rolling out. A lot of you have been telling me that you don't have some of the features I've been showing, and even I don't have all of the features that they talk about. So it tells you that it's rolling out here and there, popping up new features from time to time. Um, the next wave of new features maybe that could pop up is next week when there's going to be the patch Tuesday security updates. Uh, of course, Moment 4 will be forced on people that haven't moved to Moment 4 yet, but it can also turn on some new features that some of you might not have yet. And 23H2, even though enablement package, might actually offer a little switch of some new features that will be turned on at the same time also. So Windows 11 will move on to 23H2. And that is going to be the updates for this year. Um, we had Moment 1 on Windows 11 that was last year. And then this year we had Moment 2, Moment 3, and Moment 4. And what we are going to have now is um, the next moment, if you want, will probably be in early spring, somewhere around March or April of next year, we will have Moment 5 that will have some new features and so on. But uh, for this year, uh, after you get the Patch Tuesday update of next week and the 23H2 sometime this month, um, the rest of the year will be rather quiet for Windows 11 until the end. Uh, and of course, we'll be moving on to 2024, which looks like to be very, very interesting. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.